looking forward to better disclosure of this election. Thank you. Thank you, Senator Klobuchar. Senator Blunt's up next. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Mr. Zuckerberg, nice to see you when I saw We were just talking about Cambridge Analytica. I entered the Senate in, in the investigation with I Mark when I Zuckerberg. sent my business cards down to be printed, they came back from the Senate print shop with the message that was the first business card they'd ever printed a Facebook um, address on. There are days when I've regretted that, but more days when we get lots of information that we need to get. There are days when I wonder if the Facebook friends is a little misstated. That doesn't seem like I have those every single day. But, you know, the, the platform you've created is really important. And my son, Charlie, who's 13, is dedicated to Instagram, so he'd want to be sure I mentioned him while I was here with uh, uh, with you, I haven't printed that on my card yet. I, I will will say that, but I think we have that account as well. Lots of ways to connect people, and the the information obviously is an important commodity, and it's what makes your business work. I get that. However, I wonder about some of the collection efforts, and maybe we can go through largely just even yes and no, and then we'll get back to more expense uh, expansive discussion of this. Uh, but do you um, collect user data through على على Facebook? معلومات كثيرة تأخذها روسيا وأمريكا. People's accounts between devices in order to make sure that Facebook and Instagram and their other experiences can be synced between their devices. احذروا من استعمال أسماء حقيقية. Data, data that's uh, tracking that's not necessarily linked to Facebook, but linked to one some device they went through Facebook on. Is that right? Senator, I want to make sure we get this right, BBC so I, Sky News. I want to have my team follow up with you on that afterwards. Make sure we get this right, so I, I want to have my team follow up with you on that afterwards. Well, I, that doesn't seem that complicated to me. Now, you, you understand this better than I do, but maybe maybe you can explain to me why that's, that, why that's complicated. Do you track devices that an individual who uses Facebook has that is connected to the device that they use for their Facebook connection, but not necessarily connected to Facebook. I'm not, I'm not sure the answer to that question. Well, the Charles Assad, I'm not sure. There, there may be some data that is necessary to be searched. But I don't, I don't have that on the Senate today. So that's not the answer. Now the FTC last year flagged cross-device tracking as one of their concerns. Cross-device tracking as one of their concerns. Generally, that people are tracking devices that the users of something like Facebook don't know that are being tracked. How do you disclose your uh, collected collection methods? Is that all in this document that I would see and agree to before I entered into a Facebook? Yes, Senator. So there, there are two ways that we do this. One is we try to be exhaustive in the legal documents around the terms of service and privacy policies. But more importantly, we try to provide inline controls so that people that are in plain English that people can understand. Um, they can either go to settings or we can show them at the top of the app um, periodically so that people understand all the controls and settings they have um, and can can configure their experience the way that they want. So do people People now give you permission know. to track specific devices in their contract. And if they do, is that a which relatively new addition to what you do? Senator, I it was so sorry, quickly. I don't, I don't Please repeat it and see it. I will say it's okay for you to um, track what I'm saying on Facebook, but I don't want you to track what I'm texting to somebody else off Facebook on an Android phone. Oh, okay. Yes, Senator. Mark Zuckerberg in, in appears general, before law, Facebook before is not U.S. lawmakers. data from other apps that you use. There may be some specific things about the device that you're using that Facebook needs to understand in order to offer the service. But if you're using Google or you're using um, some texting app, um, unless you specifically opt in that you want to share the texting app information, um, Facebook wouldn't see that. Has it always been that way? Or is that a recent uh, addition to how you deal with those other uh, ways that I might communicate? Senator, my understanding is that that is how the mobile operating systems are architected. 
the um, so do you you don't have bundled permissions for how I can agree to what devices I may use that you may have contact with? Do you, have, do you bundle that permission or am I able to want it individually uh, say what I'm willing for you to, con to, to watch and what I don't want you to watch and I think we may have to take that for the record based on everybody else's time. Thank you, Senator Blunt. Next up, Senator Durbin. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Zuckerberg, would you be comfortable sharing with us the name of the hotel you stayed in last night? Um, <laughs> uh, no. If you messaged anybody this week, would you share with us the names of the people you've messaged? Uh, Senator, no, I would probably not choose to do that publicly here. I think that may be what this is all about. Your right to privacy, the limits of your right to privacy, and how much you give away in modern America in the name of, quote, connecting people around the world. The question, basically, of um, what information Facebook's collecting, who they're sending it to, and whether they ever ask me in advance my permission to do that. Is that a fair thing for a user of Facebook to expect? Yes, Senator. I think everyone should have control over how their information is used. And as we've talked about in, in some of the other questions, I think that that is laid out in, in some of the documents. But more importantly, you want to give people control in the product itself. So the most important way that this happens across our services is that every day people come to our services to choose to share photos or send messages. And every single time they choose Don't to share any more photos um, on Facebook. They have a control right there about who they want to share it with. But that certainly. level of control is extremely important. They certainly know within the Facebook pages who their friends are, but they may not know, as has happened, and you've conceded this point in the past, that sometimes that information is going way beyond their friends, and sometimes people have made money off of sharing that information. Correct? Senator, you're referring, I think, to our developer platform, um, and it may be useful for me to give some background on how we set that up, if that's useful. I have three yeah, minutes left, left, so maybe you what can do that for the record, because I have a couple of the questions I'd like to ask. You have recently announced uh, something that is called um, Messenger Kids. Facebook created an app allowing kids between the ages of 6 and 12 to send video and text messages through Facebook as an extension of their parents' account. You have cartoon-like stickers and other features designed to appeal to little kids, first graders, kindergartners. On January 30th, the Campaign for Commercial Free Childhood and lots of other child development organizations warned Facebook. They pointed to a wealth of research demonstrating that excessive use of digital devices and social media is harmful to kids and argued that young children simply are not ready to handle social media accounts at age six. In addition, there are concerns about data, data that's being gathered about these kids. Now, there are certain right. limits in the you law. You can follow you know, it by yourself through other channels. Protection Act. What guarantees now, can you give?